The Siege of Ansu was an important event in the Goguryeo Tang War, taking place in 645 AD. It involved the forces of Emperor Taizong of the Tang Dynasty laying siege to the fortress of Ansu, defended by the Goguryeo general Yang Manchun. The siege was a critical episode in the larger context of the Tang Dynasty's attempts to conquer the Korean Kingdom of Goguryeo. The Goguryeo Tang War was part of Emperor Taizong's campaign to expand the Tang Empire's borders. Taizong, an ambitious and capable ruler, sought to bring the Korean peninsula under his control. Goguryeo, one of the three kingdoms of Korea, was a formidable adversary with strong military capabilities and a series of well-fortified border fortresses. The Siege of Ansa occurred against the backdrop of Taizong's larger Korean campaign. After some initial success against Goguryeo in 645, the Tang army, consisting of tens of thousands of soldiers, approached Ansa Fortress. The fortress was strategically important, serving as a key defensive position for Goguryeo and a gateway to further conquests. Yang Manchun, the commander of Ansa, was known for his leadership and military skills. Despite being outnumbered and facing a formidable enemy, Yang and his troops were determined to defend the fortress. The defenders were well prepared with ample food, supplies, and strong fortifications. The siege began with a series of assaults by the Tang forces. Emperor Taizong, commanding the siege personally, employed various tactics to breach the fortress, including building a mound to mount attacks and employing siege engines. However, the defenders of Ansa successfully repelled these attacks inflicting significant losses on the attackers. One of the key aspects of the siege was the psychological warfare employed by both sides. Emperor Taizong attempted to demoralize the defenders by boasting of his previous victories and promising leniency if they surrendered. Yang Manchun, in contrast, inspired his troops with speeches and demonstrated his own resolve by participating in the defense efforts alongside his men. The siege was also characterized by its brutality. The Tang forces made several attempts to breach the fortress walls, leading to fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat. Despite their efforts, the Tang army could not penetrate the defenses of Ansa. The determination and resilience of the defenders, coupled with the fortress's strong defense, thwarted the Tang army's attempts. The turning point came when internal issues within the Tang army, including the lack of supplies and the onset of disease, began to take a toll. The morale of the Tang troops waned as the siege dragged on without success. Meanwhile, the defenders of Ansa remained resolute, continuing to fend off the assaults. After more than 60 days, the siege reached its conclusion. Emperor Tai Tang, realizing the cost of continuing the siege, and the unlikelihood of capturing Ansa, decided to withdraw his forces. The failure to capture Ansa was a significant setback for Taizong's campaign and a remarkable victory for Goguryeo. The siege of Ansa was significant for several reasons. It demonstrated the military strength and resilience of Goguryeo and marked one of the few failures in Emperor Taizong's otherwise successful military career. The defense of Ansa became legendary in Korean history, symbolizing resistance against foreign invasion. The outcome of the siege had broader implications for the Goguryeo Tang War and the relations between the Korean kingdoms and the Tang dynasty. It helped to preserve Goguryeo's independence for the time being and showcase the difficulty of military campaigns in the Korean peninsula. And this is the end of today's video. If you liked the video, I would love you to leave a like and write in the comments what other historical character, battle, or event you would like to see in the channel. With your help, every day there will be a video explaining in a simple way a little piece of history. See you tomorrow. Bye.